But perhaps the most interesting slice of democracy this year came in Silverton, Oregon, where in a landslide, Stu Rasmussen unseated the incumbent conservative Republican mayor to become the nation's first openly transgender mayor. This is a return to office for Stu. He was a two-term mayor from Silverton back in the 90s, but back then he wore pants. And this time he campaigned in a dress and implants. And Mayor, mayor Rasmussen joins us now uh, from Portland. Mr. Mayor, good morning. Congratulations. Good. Good morning, thank you. Now, just for the record, uh, you're not surgically en route to Ms. Mayor, correct? Um, no, I'm happy right where I am. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I know the people in your town uh, think very highly of you, but what was their reaction when, when you started to transform? Um, obviously, it was, it was shocking to them, and we all kind of went through it together. I was. The people actually, I, I got there after they were ready for it. They said, Stu, why don't you just move along with this? Because it was pretty obvious I was making a change. And it, was, it had to happen in my head first, and they were ready before I was. Uh, you know, politics, just by nature in this country, is about judging the candidates. And, you know, most politicians obsess over whether or not to wear a flag pin. Did this, <laughs> did this demand, I imagine this demanded a, a certain amount of courage for you to run for office in this form. Um, well, I think the, the first courageous act, if, if we're going to call it that, was just coming out in the first place. And the community was very receptive, very accepting, with a few exceptions, of course. And life just went on. There was a, quite a stir when it first happened. And then things just went back to normal. Hey, we have a, I know there you are in your town, a beautiful uh, town there outside of Portland. And uh, Thank you. And I, I understand we have a picture of, of you in, in your, there you are, uh, in years gone by. What kind of town politically is Silverton? Conservative? Liberal? Well, it's a rural Oregon community and considered relatively conservative, but they judge people on their talent and ability rather than their shape. And what, uh, what sort of uh, platform did you run on? Well, I am, the, the town is growing probably faster than we all wanted it to, and there didn't seem to be any change in the works for that from the current administration. So my primary platform was uh, low growth, and we had some other issues that I felt were not being properly addressed, and I put those to the community, and they responded and said, yeah, you're right, we'll, we'll have to move in that direction, and they elected me. And I understand uh, you have a girlfriend of some 35 years. That's true, the lovely and talented Miss Victoria, <laughs> who is at this moment, I mean, it's 4 o'clock in the morning here, and she is still face down in bed, snoozing away, and I'm so jealous. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Mayor Rasmussen, we appreciate your time uh, this morning. Thank you.